uh, this video uh, is about uh, the corollary of the, the previous theorem uh, theorem right that we saw in the in a previous in a previous video the theorem was the criterion for a to the power of i to be equal to a to the power of j let g be a group and let a in g let a b in g if a has infinite order then all distinct powers of a are distinct group elements if a has infinite order if a has finite order say n then the set generated by a will be identity a to the power of 1 a to the power of 2 till a to the power of n minus 1 and a to the power of i there will be one i where a will be there will be a a a to the power of i that will be equal to another a to the power of j okay and this will happen if and only if n divides i minus j you can check the previous video for the the proof of this uh, theorem now i would like to see this um this corolla uh, corollary of the this criterion if a to the power of k equals the identity it implies that the order of a divides k the order of a will be the number of times that you have to perform the operation till you get the identity okay let G be a group and A an element of G of order N. Uh, if A to the power of K equals E, then N, uh, so the order, the order divides K. So uh, we can say the order divides this power here okay um, the order divides the, this k the number of times that you have to uh, perform the operation on a on the element a till you get the identity okay I'll, well the proof is really simple a to the power of k equals the identity so k has to be 0 so a to the power of 0 will be the identity so n the order uh, of the element will divide k minus 0 so if n has to divide k minus 0, n divides k, and that concludes the theorem. Okay, so we can say that if there is one k where a to the power of k equals the identity, then the order of the element divides k. Okay. Now we are going to, to see another theorem, a very important one. The generators of cyclic groups. Let G be a cyclic group. So G is generated by an element. Okay. Be a cyclic group of order N. So the order of G will be N. Then G equals a to the power of k so g will be generated by another element uh, which is a power of a 
if and only if the greatest common divisor of k and n, so the, the greatest common divisor of this uh, power and the order of the group equals 1. I, I would like to give you an example here, but it will take a very long time. And one has to be careful because if you say, okay, imagine a group G as order so and so, if A is an element, then the power, but if you choose A number by chance, you have to be careful because then there might be no group with this order, you see, and with an element with that number, with this power, you see, so. I will give a couple of examples on uh, later, but um, how shall I say this? Um, with actual groups, and it's quite it's quite dangerous to to just throw numbers here because those groups might not exist. Okay, so that basically this is the intuition of the theorem, right? The order of the set generated by A will be N and what is G? Well, uh, G, oh, okay, and G will be generated by A to the power of K if and only if the greatest common divisor of this N here and this K here is 1, okay? So, if this is 7 and this is 6, for instance, something like that, okay, then the greatest common divisor is 1, okay. But you see, I don't, I don't want to say any numbers here. Okay. Uh, you see, this could not be 7 and this one 6. This could, maybe this 7 and this one 6, okay, but uh, I don't believe any such group exists. Okay. So the proof is, um, if the greatest common divisor of k and n is 1, we are going to take u and v, uh, two integers, such that 1 equals ku plus nv. Okay, but g is generated by a. So, A will be, so the, the base will be A, A will be equal to K to the power of 1 plus NV. That's A to the power of K U times A to the power of NV. And that, that will be A to the power of K U. So, um, but A, so A is in the set generated by A to the power of K. So if A is in the set of generated by A to the power of K, so G equals, G will be that set. If A is in the, the set generated by A to the power of K, that will be G. G will be the set generated by A to the power of K. And A to the power of K will be called the, or A, gener A generator, not the, A generator of G. Um, now suppose that the greatest common divisor of K and N is D. And let us suppose that D is greater than 1, strictly bigger than 1. Okay, this K, we are going to write it as TD. This is more or less what we have done up here, more or less. K equals TD. And N equals SD. This is only uh, rewriting the 
uh, this uh, uh, K, K and N. Okay, so A to the power of K um, to the power of S. So th this is an element, A to the power of K, okay? This one, the generator, okay? Uh, so we are writing the generator and we are taking it to the power, to the power of any number we choose. Okay, we choose S, okay? But what is K? We replaced K by this, right? So A will be to the power of TD, to the power of any number. I just choose S, okay? Okay. And by the, the this group properties, so A to the power of SD to the power of T, right? But what is SD? SD is N, so this will be A to the power of N to the power of T, okay? But A to the power of N to the power of T has to be the identity. Why is that, that a to the power of n to the power of t equals the identity? Well, let us not forget that g is generated by a, is a cyclic group of order n. So, if you take a to the power of n, you will get the identity, and the identity to the power of t will be the identity. So a to the power of k, the order of a to the power of k, this one, the order of a to the power of k will be smaller than s, this one, choose here, and will be smaller than n, the order, okay? but. This shows that a to the power of k is not a generator of g. And this concludes the theorem. After all these videos, I still did not solve a single problem. Uh, I think I'll make a couple of other videos where I solve problems, but I thought that maybe this would be a good um, occasion to to solve a problem. Well, I quickly picked one of these abstract algebra books and I saw this problem here. Yeah. Find the number of generators of a cyclic group having order 12. Okay, I think we can um, use uh, this the theorem we just saw the the generators of cyclic group. Okay, generators of cyclic groups. Let G be generated by A be a cyclic group of order n, then G equals a to the power of k, so this will be another generator, if and only if the greatest common divisor of k and n, k the power of a and n, the order of the group, is 1. So we picked uh, z12, because z12 is a group, you can check that this is a group under addition of course, and the order of z12 it is 12. Okay. Now, let us see how many uh, generators this group um, have. Um, 
Okay, let us begin. The greatest common divisor, let us say 1 and 12. That's 1. Okay, 1 is a generator of C12. The greatest common divisor of 2 and 12. Uh, so, all, all the elements in the set We will put here the elements in the set, okay? Here it will be 12, the order of the group, okay? And here we are going to uh, try every single element of the set, okay? All the elements where you get the greatest common divisor to be 1, these ones will be generators of uh, the group. So the greatest common divisor of 2 and 12 is not 1. Okay? Not 1. So 2 is not a generator. Greatest common divisor of 3 and 12. Okay. That will be 3. Okay? So this is not this is not one so this this one cannot be and this one cannot be the greatest common divisor of 4 and 12 is 4 right so it's not one two so 4 cannot be a generator two what about the greatest common divisor of 5 and 12 5 is a prime number so this is one so 5 is a generator of z12 and so on and so on. So we can say that Z12 Z12 is generated by 1 is also generated by 5 and is also generated by 7 you will check that and 11 okay so this will be the generators of Z12 1 5 7 and 11 okay so if we write uh, the group multi multiplicatively multiplicatively right that's the right spelling right multiplicatively right if we write the group multiplicatively uh, so to say G generated by A a cyclic group and if we know that the order of A equals 12 so the order of G the order of G will be 12 2 um, A to the power of K so we know that G will be also generated by A to the power of K where K is going to be equal as we saw before 1 5 7 and 11 right right and 11 so G will also be generated by a G will be generated by a to the power of 5 G will be generated by a to the power of 7 G will be generated by a to the power of 11 okay so we found the number of generators of a cyclic group having order 12